Hey there, I'm Shy Fox, your go-to emote artist educator on YouTube. And today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to create all your emote sizes, all your file sizes for your badges and your emotes, and also how to rename, rename them all at once, and even an option to draw them all in a grid together. So I'm going to show you what the tool is and how it works, and even how to get it, download it, and get it going. And if you're not familiar with how Twitch does emote and badge sizes, you do need, in many cases, three file sizes for them to use them. So it becomes a very tedious job when making these emotes, especially and badges, especially when you have so many, right? So this tool is going to really speed up that process for us. And if you don't know me, I make emote tutorials as well as other digital art creating tutorials, specifically in Clip Studio Paint, but a lot of the information is applicable to other art programs. I have a great playlist of let me show you. We got my YouTube channel and I've got a playlist, uh, want to be a better emote artist. And this is just good information that I have a whole bunch of tutorials already, these six or so. And I've got this one going up and I've got another one I want to make, which is an updated version of a how to draw emotes, another in-depth one, probably a heart, uh, holding heart emote. So you can draw along and do that too. And also an animation, how to do animated emotes. So that's coming up as well. Now, what we're actually gonna be ultimately showing you and teaching you how to do is if you made a couple of emotes uh, and maybe this one's an emote, this one's a badge, here's another emote, file export icons, and they populate into a folder in all of the sizes and they're even uh, named as they are. So we have what looks like the original file size, 20 by 28 because emotes 56 by 56, 112 by 112, and of course the 18, 36, and 72 of badges. Magical! Let's learn how to do it then. So we have to, first of all, go find it. Where does it live? So I was tagged in this, thankful to uh, our friend Katie Pugh for tagging me in this. Now, um, we have this tweet and it's in German, but that aside, Pewey's the artist, uh, Morksen is the programmer that created this tool. And I'm going to link this tweet because we definitely want, we, we need the tweet for one. And then, you know, you can say your thank yous on this tweet if you like to, and, you know, drop these guys a follow if you want to support them for creating this amazing tool for us and just giving it away to everybody for free. So that's pretty freaking cool that there's other um, creators in the community just willing to do that for us. So I'm just teaching you how to use it. I didn't make this, but I thought it was worth sharing more info about it. Credit goes to Pewey and Morkson for this. So basically we're just gonna go to the Dropbox folder where it lives here and we've got it here and we're just gonna click download. So I've already downloaded it. I'm not gonna do it again, but just to show you that's what you would do. You would open it up and you'd get it here and what you'd wanna do, oops, don't click help, close. You can export it, open the folder, extract to and just, you know, put it in a folder that you'd like to put it in. So I've got mine in a folder here. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do, I'm just gonna close these get your art program open. Doesn't matter if it's Clip Studio Paint, you could be using Photoshop. They made a Photoshop one. They have a Clip Studio Paint one. And if you're not using either of those, a PNG file works just as well. So they've got a PNG, which is just allows for transparency that'll work for everybody. So I've gone ahead and done this to give it a try. And if you use the Clip Studio one or the Photoshop one, they've given the layers here where it, you can test it in dark mode. You can test it in light mode if you want to, but one important thing to, I'm just gonna say right now is to turn these layers off when you're done, not the border stuff. The program is made to eliminate that, to know not to use it, but these layers matter. Uh, they will make your emotes have a dark background or light background if left on. So turn them off for that transparency so I put them in here. You could go ahead and draw your emotes right in here if you wanted to. You absolutely could, right? Ooh, but of course you'd have to stay in the single boxes. And if you're using the PNG, I'm gonna just show you because it's literally the same thing. I'm just gonna drag it in here. It would be all on one layer like this. You just have to draw, make a new layer and draw underneath. 
I mean, you could draw over top of, but much easier to draw underneath, got it? And then you would save the PNG. So let's back up here. We'll go back here. I have brought in a couple of these emotes to test them out in here. And I can be like, ooh, this looks really nice against a dark background. This is for testing purposes. And oh, my emote looks really good against this light mode. If not, I guess I have to fix it up and make some changes. So when you're done and you've put your emotes in here, if you're like me, you could draw your emotes separately, then bring them in again with transparency. You don't want to have like a white box around it because you'd run into that prob same problem again. So just make sure you don't have a background layer when you're bringing them over. So bring them over and put them in the boxes or you can directly draw them in here. Doesn't really matter. And then you want to open, I'm just gonna, here we go. Open the tool. Is my tool already open? Tool, okay, it looks like this when you open it up, looks like about nothing's going on. And you can, I've saved this as a PNG. I'll show you again how you would do it. Just click PNG and I've saved it as this. My, oh, watch yourself, turn off that background there and png not jpeg jpeg will not work has to be a png and my test one is there save great this i know it's transparent too because it shows me all these like pixel boxes in this export preview great so click ok done back to my little program i'm sure it's all transparent now and i'm gonna just drag that i called it test didn't I? Yes, this is it. Drag it in and it shows up like this. This is the cool part now. You can click once for emote, twice for badge, green is emote, yellow is badge, or if you click a third time it goes back to none which means I don't want to export this one. So if you for some reason left this one blank and had one here you could skip it. So it's only going to export the ones that you tell it to. So I'm gonna put none on those other ones and I could even rename these. We're gonna call this high and sleep and sword. Great, now we're gonna go file. Actually, I'm gonna make sure I was testing this, just delete what was there. So I'm gonna go file, export icons, and then it's automatically gonna bring up a window. It did it on one of my other monitors, brought it up and it populated these. <laughs> So here they are. I guess, did I not finish deleting some of these? Did I not rename sword? I don't even know what just happened. But you can see this one's like sleep, sleep, underscore 18, 36, 72. So it's got all the sizes for me. It's flipping brilliant. And hopefully this will speed up some of your guys's, you know, working processes, working processes. Let's see, is there anything else I should mention to you before we go on out of here? Actually there is. I'm just gonna open the info. Uh, you guys might as well just quickly see this as well. With this tool, you can save and resize up to 40 icons at once, either as Twitch emotes or Twitch badges. It's required to use one of the included icon templates. So this is an important note. You do have to use the template, which as you saw, could just be the image. You can bring that in another program, the how to draw your emotes within the template. Great. There are 300 by 300 pixel, which is just good to know. Um, hide all those background layers, which we talked about. We don't want that. Export as a PNG, that's important. Open the Twitch icon tool and insert your saved PNG file, which we did. Choose between emote badge or none, which we also did. And then save with file export. And then it creates all of them there. And that is it. Morkson and Pewee, thank you so much for this amazing tool. All right, and that is all there is to it. If you have questions about it though, I can try and help comment and um, check out my other emote tutorials. Like and subscribe if this was useful and I'll catch you guys in another emote creating video or other digital art tutorial of mine, hopefully. Okay, bye guys, have a good one.